Well, all right. Uh, we have uh, talked about evidence. We have talked about oral testimony. And I guess it's time to talk about uh, interviewing and interrogation, which are not the same thing uh, and are both separate specialties. Uh, now, some people know both of them, uh, and uh, you know, most law enforcement would uh, uh, at least have some training in both, at least in terms of detectives. But, um, yeah, they, they are specialties. They, um, <laughs> there are very few people who can do this naturally. There are all kinds of traps to fall into. Uh, as per the advice, um, when you are uh, dealing with any of this legal stuff, you know, don't. Um, get somebody else. Get somebody who knows how to do it to do it. That said, um, some of the aspects, some of the uh, trips and traps, um, some of the techniques, uh, so that you know um, what should be provided, what you perhaps shouldn't do, uh, if you even suspect that uh, you've got a suspect. So, anyways, uh, interviewing is gathering evidence. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what it is. You don't have a suspect, or at least you don't suspect the person that you are talking to. Um, you are just trying to find out, insofar as it's possible, what kind of thing went on, what you need to do to direct an investigation, how big uh, this might get, so on and so forth. Now, going back to when we talked about um, the uh, um, oral testimony and the fact that it's very, very easy to get people uh, to remember things that they never actually saw or heard. Um, be very careful in interviewing, even in interviewing. And the interviewing is the easy one. You know, so no leading questions, no suggestions of what you think might have happened. Just ask questions. Do you remember details? Do you remember exact wording? Do you, you know, uh, that's, you know, about as far as you should go, even in interviewing. Um, so, uh, there are issues of whether you, as the interviewer, have authority over the person that you are talking to. Um, you know, they, if you do, they are going to try and please you. They are going to try and figure out what it is you are looking for, what it is that you want them to say. Um, don't. You know, just the facts. Tell me what you saw. We want to know what happened. Tell us what you remember as clearly as you can. Uh, don't try and interpret it. Um, if it seems weird, don't worry about it. Tell us what you think it was, what, what you think you saw. Um, maybe, you know, somebody else hearing, reading what you say uh, can interpret it better, even if it seems to you, as the, the witness, to be uh, right out of left field. No, just, you know, don't worry about it. Tell us what you saw, what you heard. Uh, don't make anything up, but don't leave anything out. Even if what you are leaving out is 
you think it's weird. Couldn't possibly have happened. That's, you know, don't worry about that. We'll figure that part out later. There's always going to be some analysis later. Uh, so make them feel comfortable. See to basic comforts. Make sure people have uh, something to drink, particularly. Um, at water at the very least. Uh, in a stressful situation, people want some kind of comfort. Um, food is good. Uh, drink is much more flexible. You know, water at a basic minimum, coffee, whatever. Uh, make the positions in the room comfortable. Um, don't have anyone between the interviewee or the suspect and the door. Don't, you know, make it look like they can't leave until you get the right answer. Um, uh, now, okay, that's, that's interviewing. Then we come to interrogation. And interrogation is when you think you've got a suspect. You think you're talking to somebody who has done something wrong. In that case, uh, yeah, the, uh, the rules change. The techniques are more complicated. There are many more traps. Um, you can make mistakes in terms of uh, warning people, not warning people, uh, uh, giving away what you think you know. Um, it's, you know, this is a specialty too and much more specialized. And an interview can uh, change into an interrogation. And, you know, when it does, the rules change. What you have to do, what you have to do, um, what you need to do, how you need to conduct uh, the interrogation is different than conducting an interview. So, you know, be careful about those. Um, so, be aware of the difference, you know, interviewing and interrogation. Be aware that both of these are specialized. Uh, you should have specialist training to do them. Um, it's uh, yeah, it, everybody thinks they can they can do it just asking questions. No, yeah, it's it's a tricky subject. You have to be careful. There's legalities involved. Be aware of all the traps.